Okay, just watched Musty's uh, adventure with the Vanagon that got stuck and the relay problems. Uh, thank you very much for uh, the uh, outpouring support. It helped me being stuck. It's a weird feeling being on foot in some place that you're not familiar with. Let's see what it does. It's been in a couple hours. <laughs> I'm guessing one of those relays. That's not a good sign. So we're going to the parts store. That's the one I took out of it, which is no longer available. We end up getting this one. Well, than that. Hmm. That seems kind of testy, doesn't it? So I found a relay. And it's $559. I'm like, that's got to be a misprint. Why is it $559 with $48 shipping? And then I just did a, a paste and search. Not available. So it's like 50 bucks there out of stock. Got the next one. And it's 50 bucks there out of stock. And can you guess it? Out of stock. So it's made out of unobtainium. All right, so after a little bit of homework, we found out that that relay is no longer available. And the one that is available is $559, and we're not doing that. Okay, so I added this relay here myself, which is a similar one. Okay, and then what I did, the reason for that was these wires here go to a heated oxygen sensor. I decided to install a heated oxygen sensor instead of the regular uh, regular one and okay so there's the area where a relay came out and both are the same number on this and uh, where is it anyway it's got the standard markings on it like 30, 87, 86, 85, and that's that's really identical to just a standard type you can get at the store for well under ten dollars. I got a bunch of them for next to nothing because they're generic, and inside they're the same. Now this one went bad before, so I soldered it back together um, to to make it. Uh, uh, flow electricity properly again good conductivity and so you can do the same thing with these I, I broke the tabs off this with my fingers and uh, it's basically the same and the numbers on here are the same now this Bakelite uh, is fragile if you have to if there's a bad connection with these rivets just just solder them just solder the connections to the to the tabs and do make sure the tabs are really clean copper wise and use like a dremel with a wire wheel to clean them up if not and then the other thing is from having a florida vehicle i can tell you and several of them man the humidity in florida plays havoc with electrical connections so what you really want to do is fix all these electrical con connections and then use dielectric grease on the connections. I had to do that with a Corvette and some other vehicles. And I had to do it with this one, even though it's the Pacific Northwest here. It's pretty damp here. Anyway, so you can use the same ones and uh, I'll just show you how it works. This is the 1988 factory service manual circuit diagram. As you can see, it shows the same kind of relay as the cheap ones and it doesn't appear to be necessary to have the diode working just to have the uh, signals in the right place on the right uh, tabs verified by the cheap relay in place and the engine running as you can see i use jb weld to put the original relay cover back on and afterwards it's best to lubricate it with dielectric silicone grease to prevent future corrosion 
I really appreciate Musty One's videos as I've learned a lot from them. The Bentley service manuals have been invaluable to me as I went on my own Vanagon adventures. Hope this helps some folks.